Hey guys, uh, as you can see, not in the garage, so I made a big mistake. Um, I think I deleted some footage off of the memory card before I actually put it into the right folder. So this episode may be a little bit different. Um, it's going to be mostly Cody's GoPro footage, and uh, he goes over the steering column and he goes over a lot on what they're changing with the car later. So definitely stay tuned for that, but I biffed it on this video. Part of this is going to be my fault, so... Hopefully you guys still enjoy it. Thank you again for subscribing. Thank you again for liking and showing the support as always. But I just wanted to give some insight just in case if you're like, where is this episode kind of going? So sit back, relax, enjoy it. And again, I'll make sure the next one's better. See ya. fun doesn't stop so what I've done is fabricate the steering linkage nice and smooth these palatop bearings work very nicely A little bit of weight reduction on that guy. And then I've got adjustments here for different angles on the steering wheel. There's the carbon seat that I did a couple years ago. So now I'm gonna pop this off and try not to melt the bearings because those are part of the shaft now. So, wish me luck. So now I'm gonna weld this and try not to melt the bearings. And done. Turned out pretty good, I guess. There's the view of the full cockpit right there. Now let's try to get in. Try not to wreck my head on the Ultima here. Ooh, look at that. It's kind of right on my forehead, but... Oh gosh, that is so smooth. Yeah, there's the pedals. clearance for all those oh, Paul you're gonna like this that's, that's, the way it's gone. that's so, so nice so pumped okay tomorrow uh, I think tomorrow we mount the shocks because I have to do that and I have to do the pedals to get those those in All right, so that was a fun day. I kind of skipped over some stuff. Boom. So I mounted the shocks, the front shocks, got them mounted, which, uh, because the old chassis was wider, it was like eight inches wider per side, I didn't have these fixtures, now I do. So, you see the load paths go Boom, down the chassis, and the rear does the same. So that way, all the aerodynamic load doesn't like, you know, pushing up or down the chassis. It's actually pushing the chassis together. The rear shock goes in there, disperses load, front shock disperses load. So, um, otherwise, let's see. Oh, yeah, I did that. Connected the push rods. These are the these are the push rods off repo. I'm not going to use these ones. Uh, I could, I guess. I'm just not going to. Um, <clears throat> I'm probably going to do these ones a little bit longer for the end of So, but uh, that's done. Uh, I did order a uh, socket head bolt because um, 
it'll turn, but it's, uh, it's gonna be difficult, so. Yeah, it was kind of a tedious day. I mean, not, not a whole lot to film. Um, just a lot of brackets, so. Um, oh, I had a, an oops. So I had that position somewhere about there. Uh, obviously it's hit, hit in a spring, so I'm gonna remount that, uh, this bearing, this bushing down here, remount that, so. Uh, otherwise, we can have a little bit of fun. engine cover uh, because we are extending the wheelbase nine inches uh, he's done some studies um, the end is pretty wide in any case uh, it was a hundred inch wheelbase and the front wheels are about 82 inches wide uh, so it's almost square so longer car means we get more downforce so I'm not complaining with that and then I'm curious how wide this is. The ruler itself is three inches. So I'm gonna line this up to out to the bottom edge. Oh yeah. And I've got 79 and a half inches plus three is what, 82 and a half? So it's pretty wide. Um, so yeah, we're gonna end up with you know, 100, 109 inches of wheelbase. Um, <clears throat> it's shorter than the IDR and slightly longer than the Pug, I believe. So uh, it's not like it's going to be super long for Pike's Peak or anything, but uh, that means we're going to have to throw these away, <laughs> which sucks. So it's a lot of work, but all these, uh, you know, it's basically this sidebar on both sides. We're going to redo and basically move this back uh, somewhere around five inches. Um, the transmission itself is about four inches longer. Um, and then we're going to move the engine back five inches. We can't move the engine back five inches here because the engine technically sticks out through here. So it'll just hit here really hard. Um, so I guess we get to redo it, which we need to move back anyway. So um, I have ideas on how I'm going to do that, but basically build a five inch spacer, weld it to the table here and then more or less connect the dots or just wait for the gearbox to get here. But um, we'll see. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll probably be waiting. But in either case, that means we have a lot more room for fuel cell, which means we can use a lot more fuel. Um, so it's, we're probably going to be going 85 so, or 98 or something. Um, Paul wanted to run methanol, but I'm not. I don't have that kind of budget. We don't have a fuel sponsor this year, so I'll use some pump gas. So, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty pumped. I think I started working on this New Year's. So what is it, the fifth? So five days and we got the whole front of the car almost done. So, and 
Yeah, pretty darn excited. So uh, we'll check in. Uh, oh, we're gonna do some more work. And what I might be able to do is um, use this shot to build my third element. So that might be what I do just so I get it done. Um, I'll think about that. I gotta weld these plates, so I'll get that done. Uh, and then we'll be doing uh, repu. We'll get the repu back together. So finally got my longer bolts here. So I'll get this done. And then uh, that's gonna go in storage. So I have more room for other things. Uh, we gotta get jamming out on this stuff too. Connor was here all day jamming with that, so. But uh, it's pretty exciting. Getting a lot done. So, uh, supercar system has the engine we're gonna start with, which is a normal LSX based uh, 427. So it's cast block and all that, but it'll still do something like 2000 horsepower. So we're gonna start with that. I may go get that ahead of time um without the gearbox just so i could kind of get some measurements uh if i lock it in with cad and stuff i mean theoretically i could mount the engine and uh just start building other stuff so we'll see what happens but yeah exciting times so see you guys next time